Jerry teaches Chinese here. I'm standing on my balcony for the hotel I'm staying at. This is the Western. Since I'm in a hotel, I'm traveling. I wanted to teach you guys some terms for traveling. So first off, blanket term for traveling. There's actually two words. The distinction's not that clear, so just memorize one of them or both of them. The word is lu xing, lu xing. So lu xing. Lu literally means travel. Xing is like you've explored the word before with me if you've been subscribed. It's like walking or something related to movement. So traveling movement. Lu xing. You can also say lu you. Lu means travel again. Yo is kind of like sightseeing. Lu yo. Lu yo. So lu yo or lu xing. Lu's third tone. So got the first part. Lu third tone. Xing and yo are both second tone. So now. You're traveling. What are you doing when you're traveling? You are playing, right? Playing around. One. So that's a generic term. One. W A N with the second tone. One. Generic term for having some fun. One. So you are du yo or du xing, and you are one. You are playing around. We could also say fang song. Fang song literally means relax. Fang song. Now, if you're doing a not so fun trip, it can be fun sometimes, which is a business trip. You would do chu chai, chu chai. Chu literally means go out, and chai means on an errand. So go out on an errand, but it means on a business trip. So today we covered du xing, du yo, wan, fang song, and chu chai. Okay, Jerry, teach us Chinese. I will do a lot more lessons in the Westin, so you'll get to see all of this place. All right, thank you so much. Talk to you soon.